A special thanks to Mazda Asia Africa Bandung for allowing me to film this car. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of this 2023 Mazda 2 sedan 1.5 high active Gton exterior engine and interior. Here's the key fob, keyless type. Let's so with metallic. This has keyless entry feature standard. Cars unlock to lock it. Press this button. To lock it. Press this button again. Partial and level post three with white piping on it. Three spoke level wrap multifunctional sting wheel with silver trim on it. For transmission, this Master 2 sedan comes with a 6B Sky Active automatic transmission. M manual shifting mode via the gearbox or the paddle shifters on the sting wheel. When placing the car in reverse, there is a reversing camera with guidance lines along with a rear parking sensor diagram. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, tint, colour, etc. Sport mode. Mechanical handbrake. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the headlights on high beam. And roll down the ground side window. For the wheels, this has 16 inch multi spoke alloy rims. Wrapped in Dunlop NSAFE 18560R16 tyres. For suspension, the front has McPherson struts and the rear has a torsion beam setup. The year 2002 was time to replace the aging Master Demio All 121 by the Master 2, a subcompact car which had seen four generations. The Mazda 2 was formerly known as the Demio in Japan for 17 years. The third generation, featured in this video, was unveiled in July 2014. It continues to be sold alongside the fourth generation Mazda 2, a rebadged version of the Toyota Yaris XB210. This Mazda 2 had received two facelifts, the first in mid-2019 and the second more recently last January. Speaking about the changes from the first facelift, a new grille, new headlights, new all-round bumpers, new rear lights, a few changes to interior includes a new steering wheel and ergonomic seat design, updates to suspension for improved driving comfort, the introduction of a few convenience and safety features, and the Demio nameplate for Japan had been dropped now known worldwide as the Master 2. Available body styles are a 5-door hatchback and a 4-door sedan. The Master 2 DL sedan was unveiled in November 2014 in Thailand with sales began their first in January 2015. The third generation Master 2 were sold as Cyan and Toyota cars in North America from 2015 to 2020. The Master 2 sedan DL arrived in Indonesia last August in a sole variant without a trim level name priced mutually with the Hatchback GT at 352.2 million Indo rupees at Mazda Asia Africa Bandung. For the design, I see the Mazda 2 sedan as a mini Mazda 6 sedan. I do like the looks of the 2 sedan. This is a sexy small sedan. Don't ever call me doll. 
One key point worth mentioning is this coda seller motion design philosophy applied here. For the front, there are automatic LED projector headlights, a huge grille with chrome outline which surrounds the headlights, and thin lower chrome pieces on each side. For the side, Mazda differentiates the two sedan on its side profile from the larger Mazda sedans. The side is an art piece with curvy lines and door mounted side mirrors. However, no rear door window separation. Around the rear, you'd be mistaken for the previous generation 3 sedan when looking at the rear. The rear has a low mounted inside front brake light, a boot spoiler which I think it comes as an accessory, combination LED rear lights, a straight diffuser with red reflectors and single exhaust pipe. The Mazda 2 sedan, member number 4 of Indo Small Sedans, with more than 300 units sold in Indonesia since last August, would I go for a hatchback or a sedan for a Mazda 2 for the exact same price? I choose the sedan over the hatchback because it looks better from the rear and has more boot space. For engines, the Mazda 2 range in Indonesia is available with sole petrol choice. I'll explain now. Under the bonnet is a one and a half letter Skyactiv G inline four 16 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine equipped with direct fuel injection. This engine produces 111 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 144 newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. This has a 44 liter fuel tank and the Mazda 2 sedan is a front wheel drive car. System, the button to deactivate for traction control down below, the button to open up the rear boot, fuel flat and bonnet release, automatic transmission, dual pedals. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments for climb, seat height, and the bar for sliding. The steering wheel has manual tail and telescopic adjustment. Adjust it using the lever down there. On the steering wheel, on the right spoke is the cruise control. On the left spoke is the audio controls, volume, voice control, seat track, info button for the MID, Bluetooth accept of the common core, paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The right door is the light indicating fog light control. This has automatic headlights. The left door is the wiper control, this has automatic wipers, start start engine button, a fascinating looking instrument cluster, tachometer in the middle along with digital speedometer. On the left is the odometer, on the right is the MID, controlled via this button here. On the left, hmm. Use this button here, trip A, trip B. A 
heads up display with digital speedometer. The Master 2 sedan comes with single zone automatic climate control in analog format. Temperature in the middle along with the automatic mode with circulation button. On the right is the different zones along with the rear defrost button. On the left is the temperature along with the AC button. Above the AC controls is the rear seat belt reminder indicator. Has a light switch. For infotainment, this has the second iteration of Master Connect with circular home icons. A display measures 8 inches in size and sound is 6 speakers. The Master MCD Connect is touchscreen. Only when the vehicle is stationary. All via these set of buttons. The scroll wheel here. Media menu, home menu, nav menu. Volume, push down to mute, start and return. Let's test out sound quality. Let's turn the audio off before I get a copyright. The sound quality sounds great. Now in entertainment menu, entertainment options brings up AHA and Stitcher apps. Auto memory, favorites, scan, tune access manual tuning dial, previous or next, and sound settings includes turning on or off the touchscreen beep. Applications menu, fuel economy monitor allows to switch pages for average fuel consumption since last reset, I stop status, and average fuel consumption for current drive. Vehicle status monitor for warning guidances and maintenance. There is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Communication menu. Navigation menu. SatNav is omitted. Instead, our compass coordinates. Settings menu. Settings for heads up display if engine is on. Display settings. Safety features include blind spot monitoring system, sound settings, clock settings, vehicle settings for wipers, doors, indicators and lights, devices settings, and lastly system settings include system information. I think that's it for the MCD Connect now. The MCD Connect is straightforward not RDS to use. Down below the aircon controls, exposed bit of storage along with the wireless key charging slot. SD card slot, two USB input, auxiliary input, along with a power outlet, 12 volt power outlet. Behind the MCD controls are two cup holders along with exposed bit of storage, shared between the front and rear occupants. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights, grip handle only for the front passenger side, car side sun visor, with a vanity mirror, and a card holder. To summarize the Master 2 sedan's interior, the interior is a masterpiece. It fascinates me, and all controls are simple to operate. However, there are certain controls and switches show its age and a lack of armrest. These seats feel plush and contoured. On the dashboard, there is a mixture of soft touch and hard plastic materials. Now let's check out the rear seats. Oh, there's 
stick. I can tell it there. Move it door pocket. There is this boot bowl there, which I'll show you later on. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a decent amount of leg room. And for head room, I've got a generous amount of it. I believe tall people, six footers, will fill quite back in terms of rear seat space, interior space. Front seat back pocket only for the left side. The transmission tunnel there. No rear centre armrest. Rear grip handles with hooks on each side. A long rear rear interior lamp. Now let's take a look at the rear seats. I can't go, I don't want to go out in the rain. Best space in the bed part along with the tool kit. The rear seats do fold down for these levers. Specific Chelsea anchor points on the rear seats. The front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side except the seat height. This has six airbags to standard. The box, which is of great size. This is the end of the video now, like this video, comment down below, select subscribe and don't forget to fully turn on the notification bell so you're alerted for an upcoming video.